Right, it's a pussy pop, y'all. <laughs> That's plenty. It tastes like what? The toaster this week. Fuck this. Girl, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna light your toaster tomorrow. I'm gonna light your toaster. 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 I'm gon
want to go to work tonight. Then Sunday, I'm going to just stay at my day shift club. I'm going to work night shift there. just got my nails done literally that right before I went to work so the free baby no so that was an L um oops, excuse me I did have a ID situation I didn't have my physical ID so it kind of played in a role for me not getting hired at some of the clubs but I did um, work at the clubs that I did get hired at um I worked at one so did not even one person came through that door like it was terrible like I was there like morning until night and like nobody has stepped foot into that club like I don't know and then I tried a third club it was pretty dead I never okay so the third club I tried we I had already went to that club before and I already knew that I did not like the club just for the simple fact of management. Management was screwed as hell. Um, and the manager over the three establishments that I worked at, the black manager, so it's like two manager, three, okay, it's the owner and then the manager over all three franchises and then each franchise had their own manager in it. So the one under the owner that manager is extremely rude i would not freaking recommend and honestly i will tell you the club's names after i've done talking now i'm not going to tell you specifically on which situation happened at which club but i will give you the names because it is just ridiculous and i don't care and i will never ever 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 work at the establishment again stupid ass anyways and i'm sorry if you work there and yeah, I don't know. I just don't care. It, it didn't work for me. Maybe it worked for you. It, every club is not for everybody, and that definitely was not my freaking club. So, yeah, it was just, the trip just went left. It just, I don't know. My dance partner, she worked with me probably 
three times, three or four times the whole entire time. We're actually not dance partners anymore. I personally don't want no dance partner anymore. Um, you know, it's just, I like being able to do stuff when I want to do it. I like to jump up when I'm ready to jump up. I like to lay down when I'm ready to lay down. I like to go when I'm ready to go, or you know, I'd rather go somewhere else when I'm ready to go. And having a dance partner, not saying it's bad having a dance partner, but it's just, you have to accommodate both. And if one's not making money and the other's making money at the club, like it, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be tough because we're both trying to make money. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep it there. It's gonna be tough, but I mean, it's not something that you can't work through, but it's kind of annoying, especially if you're being a dance, you're a dance partner and one's making money at the club and another's not making money at the club. But y'all don't want to split up because y'all are dance partners. So it's just to eliminate all that stress. Just, I wouldn't work with anybody. You know, I would, how I like working personally since I haven't had my dance partner's been over a couple of months and I've been dancing since without her um, is if it's somebody you know you vibe with at the club partner up um just at that specific club and you know make your money do y'all split and go that way but as far as having a dance partner to travel around and get higher at every single club and you know you dance like that i don't recommend it didn't work for me it may work for y'all but it, it just wasn't a go for me um what else um i think that was about it other than the management being rude as hell in their club was so y'all let me tell you that man so we had went to one of his establishments um we were going as going in as a customer but we were purchasing food because we were trying to see if the club was dead or not and he's gonna tell us i know y'all didn't come all this way for some food and we we're like yes because the chef that cooks there is actually a really really good chef like that food is actually really really good which had that club has potential of being a really good make money making club so i really don't understand i think it's because how um bamboo-ish the girls act there that's that's who's scaring the customers off because i don't understand anyways he was like um well after you get your food y'all need to get the fuck out this he was talking to me and my ex dance partner like baby First F fucking all, we are the only customers in this bitch, if you want to be fucking for real. The only fucking customers in here. We don't want to be at your fucking dead ass club. And we just made a vow that we would never ever go to those clubs anymore. And we'll never ever 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 fucking go to the fucking anything that has anything to do with it. The sister club, whatever y'all call it. Never ever ever go to that. Um, but I'm not gonna let that kill my Texas Texas experience because I do want to go to Dallas and try. There's only two clubs I want to try specifically in Dallas. And I said if I don't get hired at those clubs, then it's not meant for me to work out there because there's really no other clubs that I want to dance at honestly in texas like i'm just ready to go on to another state and just try what's the i really want to go to vegas but the two clubs in dallas i want to go to is baby dolls and ecstasy i all i hear ecstasy is like it's a money making club it's a really good club and baby dolls is also a really good club and it's a gentleman's club and i prefer gentleman's club just for the simple fact, urban clubs, it's just, they're cool and there's the money in there. So don't let me steer you off from not going there. But me personally, I'm not with all the ghetto vibes that is. So I prefer gentlemen's clubs. Honestly, y'all should comment down below some ideas or some things that y'all want to know about dancing. But I've only been dancing on and off a year, but I feel like I've learned of something, you know. Wow.
I would recommend is Brick and Market. Like, a starter club, yes. If you're a baby dancer, okay, sorry, um, I didn't have space on my phone. But if you're a traveling dancer and looking for clubs to have in different states that you can come back to, those are definitely not the clubs to go to. And I'm just putting this out there because I know a lot of people um, are starting to DM me the more views I'm starting to get on my videos, which I'm so thankful for. Thank you guys so much. But I was just, I just wanted y'all to know my experience in dancing at them clubs like now. But I'm going to put all that behind me and I'm honestly never ever going to speak of them clubs anymore. So whenever someone asks me about those clubs experiences, I'm just going to recommend them back to this video because I really don't want to talk about their stupid clubs anymore because it's just, they're dumb. So why would we want to talk about dumb shit? It's blood. Anyways, but thank you guys so much for all the love, the support, the views, the subscribers. Um, I'm still at 1K subscribers. I am doing a $100 giveaway. I'm still doing that. So keep running them subscribers up because of her. Um, until next video, I love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for watching and 